Hi everyone. Today I'm going to share with you. One of the photo editors that I use. The InPyJaw Photo Studio 11. I am using this photo editor since it was version 10. If you would like to check out the all feature of InPyJaw Photo Studio. Please check out this video by clicking the link at the top right corner. Let's back to this version 11. There do have few enhancement in this version 11. But the most that impressed me was the function of AI sky replacement. This function automatically replaced the sky with just a single click. So later, I will use one of my favorite photos to try out this enhancement. This new enhancement is available with this version. Same as the last version, InPyJaw does provide some video tutorials. This video tutorial is very useful. It does give you an idea of how to start with photo editing. And you may also using the provided sample photo to practice. Alright, let's start to try out the new enhancement. This is the photo that I would like to try out with the new enhancement. But before we proceed with the AI sky replacement, I would like to remove this branch first. After remove the branch, then only we proceed to the AI sky replacement. Alright, let's start now. To remove the branch, let's click on the remove object button. There are several selection mode, choose the one that you most get used to. For me, I will use the polygon selection mode, then touch up with brush. Like this. Alright, done, don't forget to save the changes. Next, let's start to try out the AI Sky replacement. Once click, what we need to do is just to wait for the eye work for us. Wow, the sky is being removed automatically, with just a single click. We may further fine-tune the selection, such as background to remove, subject to keep an edge to improve. But since we want to try out the AI, so we just leave this as default. Alright, let's continue, let's choose the sky that you love. In PyJaw do provide some sample sky image. We may just change the sky by switching amount the photo. Alright, let's use this photo. And we may further adjust the temperature, exposure and scale. When you adjust the temperature of the sky, don't forget to adjust the foreground color adaption too. Like this. In PyJaw doesn't limit us with the provided photo. If you are a photographer who likes to take sky photo, you may add your sky photo here. Alright, before we exit, don't forget to save your artwork. Completed. Alright, we end here today, see you guys in the next video. Bye.